So I work in GNOME every day. And that's why it's pretty important for me to have a good workflow. And I'm going to show you today how to work my way in GNOME. It requires that you get one extension and that's the extension called the desktop scroller. And you can get it from extensions.gnome.org and it should be pretty easy to install. So once you have this extension installed, we can begin to look into how to arrange our workspaces probably to get a good workflow. I'm going to close this now. Uh, and this is essentially how your computer looks like the first time you start it up. If you want to open applications, you probably know it already, but you can drag and drop them. You can also simply click on them, but the advantage of dragging and dropping is that the activities window doesn't close which means you can drag and drop a lot of different applications and just keep doing that. You can also drag them into different workspaces. You can drag them from this overview here and you can even search for some application if you are looking for it. And in the end, you end up with all the workspaces you want. But which application should go to which you might ask? That depends on what you are going to do. For my case, I usually keep a surfing slash chatting workspace like this, uh, where I have some chat rooms going on. And um, then I have another workspace where I keep my email in the top. And then I may have uh, the actual work down here in a full screen application. There are th various ways you can set up your uh, desktop workspaces. One way is to do like this and have a maximized window and a lot of small windows that aren't maximized. Because this way you can switch between them pretty easily by clicking on the active one and when you want to put the maximized behind, you, sen you essentially just middle click on the top of it and it'll go behind and you have all the small windows that you can have access to. You can also keep two windows and make some sort of comparison mode like this. And of course you can um, make a full screen window, as I told before, uh, when you need to focus really hard on something specific. If you want to save your workspaces, you essentially just go up in this menu and press suspend. That'll suspend your work and maintain the setup you've made with your workspaces. Once you're done with uh, your work, you can use the overview to batch close all the applications. Uh, so those you don't need um, anymore, they can easily uh, be removed. You need to uh, know that um, some applications does not open in the right workspaces. That's for example the case with Blender. If you tell Blender to go say above my email, it won't. It'll end beside my email in this case. And it's not always predictable nor makes sense where the application actually ends up. But what you can do is that you can always uh, drag the application around and place it wherever it fits you the most. Another thing to note is that when you use this middle click feature and need to switch between a maximized window or a minimized window or two maximized windows, um, some applications does not allow you to do that through middle clicking. For example, when Nautilus is maximized, you won't be able to switch between it and your background chat, for example. Okay, and now we'll look into how to use these workspaces. My goal is to use the overview as little as possible. I use the uh, overview mainly when I need to track an application I lost, or if I forgot where I put a specific workspace, I can also see it over here. Or if I need to open a new, some new applications in the existing workspaces or make a whole new workspace. So I have set up uh, my workspaces now and I'll start out uh, from the very simplest things. I rely on middle clicking this top bar when I need to switch between windows in my workspace. 
That's what you can do with the mouse. And sometimes you need to do this through the keyboard and you can do that through alt tab. And this is an extension. Yours will probably look different depending on what extension you have or what extension you don't have. You can also switch between tabs pretty easily. If you want to switch tabs with the keyboard, you use control tab and control shift tab to switch between them. And if you do want to do it by the mouse, you simply select them. You can also scroll in some applications, but not in all. For example, empathy doesn't support this. And you, in empathy, you can't use control tab and control shift tab to twitch between tabs either. You have to find out which application works with this and which doesn't. If you feel like uh, you need to move your windows around and resize them, you can use super and middle click and that should make it possible for you to resize the windows. If you want to move the windows, you use super and left clicking. Opening and closing windows is pretty easy, as you probably know already. With the mouse, you can use the X button uh, and through the keyboard, you can use control Q in some applications. For example, GIMP supports this. There we go. If you want to close a tab, you can use control W and in some, um, and when you have several tabs open, you can use the X button up here. And as a last thing, you can switch workspace with your mouse by scrolling in the left side using the extension I showed you earlier, or you can use the keyboard shortcut control alt up and down. That way you won't need to use the overview, except if you need to open a new application or if you need to find an application lost. And that's all. This is how I work and I hope you got something out of this. Bye bye.